your local weather authority forecast. Seasonally cold and humid to start off the last day of fall in the Midland and Odessa area. This is a live look at the tall city right now. Dark out there. City lights not highlighting any thick clouds or any clouds whatsoever. We are going to be seeing some patchy fog this morning, but I think it will be very few and far between. The bigger story will be the seasonably chilly conditions for this time of year. Currently sitting at 28, dropping to 27 before warming up to right around the 48 degree mark later this afternoon. Taking a look at that satellite and radar, we do notice hardly any clouds in the basin right now. Likely remaining so at least for the next several hours before slightly more clouds will be on the increase, but likely not to produce any rain or snow or anything like that throughout the day today. But again, it is a little humid out there. 81% relative humidity right now in the tall city sitting at 28 degrees. So average low 33. We're going a little bit below that for this time of year. 84% relative humidity right now in Van Horn. So more humid conditions in the southern and western part of our viewing area. But the real humid conditions will be off to our east. And we're seeing that right now. 92% relative humidity right now in Abilene, where they could be seeing fog throughout the morning. But I do think some of those greens will make their way into the eastern basin. So patchy fog possible this morning, leading way to ample sunshine throughout later this morning into the afternoon, warming up to right around the 48 degree mark with very thin cloud coverage later this afternoon. Those winds not too bad out of the east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But those east north easterly winds will make things again below normal in terms of those high temperatures, but also a little bit humid in the lower levels of the atmosphere. 20s and 30s to start, very close to lower 40s near the Rio Grande, but temperatures will warm up in the high 40s, 50s, and lower 60s. Presidio, I do think, will reach the lower 60s this afternoon. Low to mid 50s in the Trans-Pecos. You have to go in the northern and eastern basin where we see those, some of those blues indicate temperatures only reaching the mid to upper 40s in some areas later this afternoon before cooling off tonight in the 20s and 30s. Not quite as cold as what we're seeing right now, but again, these temperatures seasonably cold for this time of year. Likely to see more fog as wind switching a little bit more from the east southeast. So that'll be providing slightly higher temperatures tonight and tomorrow morning compared to what we're seeing right now. But I'll be bringing in more clouds and yeah, fog. Low temperatures in the 30s, seasonably cold for this time of year. Tomorrow morning, I think we'll start off very very close to the freezer mark in the Midland and Odessa area. Those winds picking up out of the south southeast right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies throughout the morning and the afternoon, but slightly more clouds will be on the increase. Not only high level clouds, but low level clouds, especially in the eastern areas as we head late tonight to tomorrow morning, but likely not to produce any rain or snow. And then Peaks of sunshine later in the afternoon tomorrow. First day of winter, not too shabby at 55, 48 today, but much colder air or stronger winds will be the big story as we head into Thursday and Friday before a slight warm up for Christmas weekend.